What's up, everybody? I'm playing a game called Mizari Loves Company. It's a visual novel game with, um, RPG elements, apparently? Or at least that's what it's going to be. This is just a demo. So, you can support the game on Kickstarter. I think they have, like, a goal of, like, around $2,000. Uh, pretty small. And they're already, like, $300 away there. Um, or you can just play the demo for free on Itch, like I did, because I'm a cheap bastard. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive right into this, so... Oh, wait, options menu. Now, this doesn't look like it's made in RenP, but I could be wrong? I don't think, like, I don't think if, if you make a game in RenP, I don't think, uh, the developer lets you, or the designer of RenP lets you, like, monetize your game or whatever. I'm not sure about that, don't quote me on that, but, I, because it's, like, a freeware, so, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a crazy person, so don't listen to me. Um, anyway... Uh, options are good, I guess. I don't know. Apparently there's voice acting, so yeah, I guess I won't be talking as much, maybe. I'm not sure. Well. We finally arrived. Holy shit, there's actually voice acting, even though I just said that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, these characters are very well drawn. Holy, 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 blah, blah. Uh, okay. Right before nightfall, too. Good job, everyone. Okay. We would have gotten here earlier if not for a certain someone making us stop because she had to heal a man with a sprained ankle. He was in pain, Narui. I couldn't just leave him like that. It might not have healed properly. I suppose it was the same thing with the sickly little boy and that it's, it's hard to, woman with lumps It's hard to make a commentary, right? actually, when there's <laughs> actual All characters day, talking. I, I can't believe I'm just silent. Oh boy, I got... I, I am doing a YouTube video. That means I should be make funny jokes and act like a goofy person. I think, probably. Um, all right, Seriously, we're gonna. Misery. Okay, so Just who's like Norui? I can't tell who's talking. Strangers. Um, Norui is this blue girl, or? Ugh. Well, this guy's Merrick, obviously, because <laughs> he's the only dude. The perfect person to be wielding healing magic. One can say her powers go to waste. Okay, so one of these people is a healer. All right. You're far too soft on her, Merrick. You have to tell her if she's being overbearing, or else she'll get lost on the battlefield, killing every injured soldier she sees. Oh, okay. So she's like the like. Oh, you're doing too much for people, even though I love you and even though I admire that about you. Kind of anime stereotype, like I guess. Thing. Uh, you make it sound like it's a bad thing. Are you talking to me? I mean, I just. Describing your character. Holy shit, you don't have to break the fourth wall or whatever. About misery. I don't want you to overwork yourself. And you know exactly what I mean. Do you mean when I start to make toast out of, of rice instead of toast? A I just on the body put I shove time. rice in a toaster and then I I turn on the toaster and then I put butter on it after it crumbles in out in my hands and burns them severely. I don't know where I'm going with this joke. I don't even think it was a joke. I think this might be a real life experience that I probably had in a past life. I don't know where I'm. I don't even know where this is coming from. This is really good commentary. I don't. Oh god. Okay. I'm glad I remember. Yeah. I'm glad I remember my past life too. Thanks, Nuri. Oh. Oh. I get to actually talk. Okay. Uh, Nuri started to walk ahead of us, but Merrick put a hand on her shoulder, stopping her. It was covered in gravy because he thought it would be a good ingredient for that rice toast. Okay. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, big man. Thank you, you two. Allow me to slap you in the face. Oh, I guess I'm playing as uh, this girl. All right. Wow, my legs are like jelly. I can barely feel them. That was a really long journey. I, we went to the Costco and uh, we came back just now. I turned to sit at the nearby bench while my fellow mercenaries engaged in small talk beside me. Hey, let's save the game. Also, I did play a little bit of this ahead of time just to see what it was like. So I'm overriding that save file. Uh, I turn to sit. Blah, 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 blah. It's been a few weeks since Merrick uh, first arrived at our village and invited Nuri and I to form a mercenary band with him. We're called the Mercenariettes. We perform heavy metal songs and progressive rock. Uh, somehow, though, it feels like we've been doing this forever. We've been in a band forever in the fantasy anime world that we're in. Well, to be fair, Nuri and I used to train all the time. She used to play guitar, and I used to be the bassist. But her, she was way better at vocals. Nuri especially has trouble keeping up with Merrick. Merrick is so good on the drums, dude. 
She was the best magic user in our village. Oh, also she can use magic. She's a magic guitar man or something. That's a new class in Final Fantasy uh, 16. Are they on? I don't know. I bet she's even stronger than most mages from large towns. She's a bit sharp tongue, but she's still a great person. Even though she slapped that old man for uh, breaking his leg. Uh, even though she's an elf too, and has a higher social class than me, being the daughter of the village of the mayor and all. Oh, wait. Oh, she's the daughter of a mayor, right? I can't read. I don't. Reading comprehension was not my strong point. Uh, she doesn't treat me or anyone else differently. All right. Which also means that I receive the same amount of scolding from her as anyone else. I love when she slaps me in the face. It makes my green eyes tingle. Uh, Nuri has always been a good friend to me. She's always there to help me uh, whenever I'm in a bind. But I can't help. Or blah, blah, blah. I can't help but feel a little guilty for making her worry all the time. I'm going to chop off my hand to confess my sins. Or to make up for my sins. Uh, actually, she's not going to do that at all. Although she's been acting quite oddly ever since Merrick arrived at our village, for one, I didn't expect her so easily to agree to become a mercenary. After all, we still don't know much about the man, even now. Hey, Narui? This voice actor sounds really familiar. Hmm? What is it, Misery? Did you hurt yourself somewhere? Oh, no, it's just that, if you don't mind sharing, I'm curious about why you decided to join Merrick's band. Because I want to be the greatest guitarist in the world! Where is this coming from? Wow, Nuri looks really flustered. This isn't something I see every day. Oh, this girl is Nuri, and this girl is the main character. All right. But I, I'm, I'm having trouble, uh... Is she the one with the, like... Is she the one with the deeper voice, or is she... I don't know. I don't know who the voice actors are for the girls. I'm confused. Wow, Nuri looks really flustered. This isn't something I see every day. Man, she looks like she has a big crush on uh, the guy over here, but this only makes it even more suspicious. I was sure Merrick picked up on it, as he looked quite curious too. Are you in love with me? Because I love you! It was the typical Nuri to change the subject whenever she was having a hard time. She'd even forgotten about the key de details, like how... Well, didn't you practically force me to come with you? Something about this is the chance of a lifetime, and your mother taught you to snag a good one, whatever that meant, and... What the shit? Misery, that's enough. I'll answer your stupid question, okay? Yeah, you big stupid. How dare you try to interfere with my love life? How dare you try it's to do anime cliches, question. god damn it! I'm just really curious, and I'm sure Merrick feels the same way. Nuri turned to Merrick and then licked him on the nose, looking a little pink in the cheeks. <laughs> I, I I kid you not. I thought it said I I thought it said looking a little pinch on the cheeks, <laughs> and then for some reason instead of like face cheeks, I thought like butt cheeks because I'm a weirdo. Anyway, uh, she must have been more tired than I first imagined. I must be pretty tired too. Do you? It, I mean, I well, I think I, I am. I can't deny that I'm interested in hearing your reasons, but if you'd prefer to keep it to yourself. I understand. It's nothing mysterious or weird or anything. So stop asking me about it, you piece of shit! I felt like I needed to see more of the world, and you just happened to come along with a golden opportunity. I couldn't pass it up. Also, I like staring at your butt. It's very round and nice. I see. That's not selfish at all. Actually, butt staring is pretty selfish. It's also kind of creepy, but that's okay. before the chance disappears. Yes, you're right. Haha, <laughs> I'm smiling because I like touching butts. Uh, that was such a narrow like answer. Bakaro, I'm glad Merrick didn't think of think badly of her for it, but I can't help but feel that she's still hiding something like she wants to bang this man. Nah, can't be. Speaking of Merrick though, he tends to keep to himself. He's still kind and patient with us, of course, without a doubt. He's a trustworthy person. At least that's my gut feeling. I know that I can count on him to protect us, especially me, since I'm not really attuned to offensive magic. Uh, not that I'd want to use it anyway. Burning people alive doesn't really, uh, you know, jam with me. Regardless, I can't not notice that there's something strange about him. Like he treats us, like he treats us well, but always maintains the distance. It's like he's doing an impression of Cloud from Final Fantasy Advent Children before he became ruined. Uh, I mean, after he became ruined because of that movie. Am I making a Final Fantasy VII reference? I haven't even played the full game. Oh my god. Anyway, it's as if he's avoiding getting too close to us. I promised myself not to pry, but I've been really 
but I've really been itching to talk to ask about that. Eric, why did you decide to form a band with us? Didn't she just ask that? What's with the questions today, Misery? Did you hit your head or something? No, you hit your head after I hit yours. Okay. Wait, what? A question. After all, I was no less a stranger when I first asked for your assistance. But that was almost a month ago. We're not strangers anymore. We're comrades. We're comrades. We die for each other. Comrades. Now die for me. And then he, like, she like stabs him with a knife or something. <laughs> yes, you are absolutely correct. Merrick looked conflicted. I wonder if I shouldn't have pride. I'm sorry. You don't have to answer that. It was a silly question. No, it's fine. To be honest, there wasn't actually much of a reason. Actually, I'm just doing an impression of talented. old Final Fantasy characters. And I knew that with your help, I could accomplish whatever request came my way. It was as simple and petty as that. You selfish asshole! How dare you use the abilities of other people to help you in your own needs? You are a terrible person! It wasn't what I had intended to do, but I seem to have put everyone in a sour mood. Wow, way to go, bitch! Jesus Christ! Ugh, me and my big mouth. Yeah, you should just, like, use some magic to seal it up. <laughs> or use some concrete or something. Actually, that would be pretty messed up. Don't listen to me. I'm uh, I'm just a YouTube person. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm barely even relevant. Anyway. Oh, boy. She's right. Beyond that, I couldn't ask for anyone more reliable to depend on. So, I'm glad that I can walk beside the two of you. <laughs> I'm glad I can walk beside the two of you and watch you two flirt with each other while I slowly die inside. <laughs> The same goes for me as well. You're gifted with healing magic misery, and such a rare talent should doubtlessly be used for the sake of those who are oppressed. I won't try to use that for any evil reasons whatsoever. <laughs> oh man, I can already see where this is going. So we three are unstoppable. Really? That's all you have to say about me? You think like I totally blow stuff up all the time? I'm gonna blow your head off if you don't like stop messing with me. You already know you're great at what you do. Why should we state the obvious? <laughs> like, you're being such a bitch, Nerui. Oh my god. Merrick and I laughed, and soon Nerui joined in too. <laughs> that looked like really weird on the screen. Like, they all had a happy face, and then they just went back to serious. <laughs> Our playful banter sounded wonderful. However, with the silence of the near deserted town around us, it turned into an eerie quiet moment's notice. You know what that sounds like? It's time to save the game, everybody! This place had been ravaged by the fires of war. This silence was unnerving, and I certainly wasn't the only one who found it disconcerting. Uh, anyway, do you really think the demons will attack this town? Only if the narrator shuts the hell up. Since their last attack a week ago, and I heard reports from the border patrol indicated that the demons have been amassing numbers. For the a border while. patrol. <laughs> It's looking to be inevitable. Uh, I was gonna make a, a rude joke there, but uh, God bless America. It seems like this won't be an easy job. I hope they won't outnumber us too badly. Hey, maybe you should use some uh, ice magic on that uh, on that you know border patrol. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because ice immigration. Uh, what does ice stand for? Immigration. Um, copper. Um, uh, eggs. That's what that that's what I stands for. That's an American joke. Right. If they're gathering more troops, then that much is a given. Though since they suffered major casualties in the last skirmish. Yes, all of them almost died, yeah, and then you started healing their legs, them. and then I almost so cried because you didn't heal mine. Which I don't know, this commentary is awful. I, I don't know who's watching this video. <laughs> the keyword being yet. Anyway, do Ooh, we that was a weird loop in the music. On? Someone hadn't kept stopping us, we would have had time to review the job along the way. Yeah, you big jerk. I won't apologize for doing the right thing. Yeah, I did the right thing. Oh my god. <sighs> We're totally not gonna like uh you know it's all right. uh it's make out later. Dude, I like the blue hair chick. She is just so sassy and she's got nice but eyes and she's elf. I love elf women. Well, elf women are hot. So oh god, this is... Terror. Oh god, okay, the demons! Oh my god, three years ago, the demons, under the rule of their new king, had suddenly attacked the neighboring nations. Our kingdom was no exception! The demons offered pancakes, but we decided it was not a good idea. Although no large-scale invasion had occurred in the past, the existence of the looming threat of pancakes was a constant source of fear for everyone. 
In terms of appearance, the demons were no different than humans and elves, except they made pancakes. Except, and also the horns that corned their heads. They were physically stronger, however, and were known to possess forbidden magic, like baking. The most evil magic of them all! Truth be told, we really didn't know much about them. All throughout history, they'd kept to themselves, and children were always taught to avoid them. Because discrimination, my friends! I had heard all sorts of nasty rumors about their kind. The darkness that slowly enveloped the horizon was only making me remember those awful things. Since night's creeping up on us, we should probably hold off on meeting the mayor until tomorrow. Yeah, to nothing will totally happen. I agree. We should find a place to settle in for the night then. Okay, let's let the two girls sleep together and make sweet love to each other. Oh, wait, I mean, uh... uh oh, yes. Thank you for the offer, though, Merrick. Nero is like, Ugh, I'm so jealous! Can you, like, stop flirting with my blonde bimbo friend over here? The three of us arrived at Elsie Marie, which was the finest inn in this town, according to Merrick. It had the least number of rats in the village. Oh, I need some water. I can't... I can't be as uh, as uh, entertaining as I am without water. Hmm. Hmm. This water tastes great. Love the taste of water. Very refreshing. Also tastes like grapes. Um, since he had been traveling for far longer than Nuri and I combined, we deferred to his opinion when it came to lodging needs. Right. I'll arrange our stay with the innkeeper. Why don't you two wait here? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes. Yes, we can wait. Goodbye. I'll be back soon. <sighs> Is it just me, or are there, like, a few townspeople about there? Like, streets are empty, and there's no, like, Forever 21 any anymore, so, like, where the hell is everybody? And where's the clothes and shopping? Even though the sun hasn't set fully yet. Well well, like, it's totally to be expected. Wait a second, why are you wondering about Forever 21? There's demons about. Between the skirmishes and the reports that a huge demon army has been seen at the border, the townspeople don't have much incentive to stay here. Ugh, oh, that means I can't go shopping at Forever 21! D do you think we'll have to fight them this time? <sighs> You're not a coward, Mizari. As your best friend, I should know better than anyone else. Ugh, oof, oof. But I must tell you that you're trying to run from reality, and avoid battles just won't make the world a better place, you piece of shit. Uh, I... I... I know that, but I... <laughs> Epic, tragic backstory! I still can't use to... S I still can't get used to seeing people killed. Mm. Even if those people are cruel bandits who ransack merchant caravans and slay everyone in their path. This is... We could have captured them instead, you bitch! <sighs> Mizari, those bandits were bent on killing us! Merely attempting to incapacitate your attacker with their hellbent or destroying you? That's just plain dangerous and foolish, and I need to go shopping at Forever 21. They have a new blouse on sale! It's $4.99, goddammit, and I want that new blouse! Besides, the quest implicitly, ex explicitly, explicitly stated that we get to rid of them. And Merrick agreed with me when I said that those banes of society need to be purged. The criminalization of criminals will be criminalized. Well, I guess you're right. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> you're like too kind-hearted for your own good. That's why you shop at Walmart for all your clothes, you so... skinky bitch. Uh, was that supposed to be a compliment? Because it shouldn't sound like one. Take it as you will. Either way, I'm sure you won't have the same problem with killing demons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you're right. <laughs> I know I'm right. I mean, I'm right about everything. The entire reason we've been honing our magical powers is to get back at those damn invaders. I'll show- I'll never show them any mercy with what they've done to us. Until I'm put into a situation where I have to. Yes, this is for our country's sake, after all. Nothing wrong with murdering innocent people and demon- and creatures. I knew you'd say that. I mean- you know, because we're like best friends and stuff, but that totally won't be uh, a problem at the end of the story. So keep yourself together a lot. of People are, could be wounded in the coming days and they'll be counting on you to help them. Uh, um... Nehru, do you, do you want to make out? There's a bend over there. You're right, I should try to strengthen my resolve. Let's make love to each other. I have to do my part, no matter what. I'm so glad. That's the spirit. 
Looks like Merrick's done. He's heading that back this way. Looks like we can't make love to each other. Uh, I finished booking our rooms for the night. The payment has already been settled too. So. Uh, where should we go next then, or should we turn in for the night? What do you think? It's still too early for that. Can we visit the pub first? We should probably gather as much information as we can before the meeting the mayor tomorrow. No. I'm not against that plan, but the mayor seems like he would smell really bad. Can you keep up, Nizari? Or do you want to rest here while Nero and I take a look around? I'll help you. No, I'll come with you two. I'm interested in learning what's happening too. <sighs> and seeing if there are any sick or injured people around, I bet, you <clears throat> skanky bitch! God, these two are just really mean to each other. Hi. We're here. I had been he to a few pubs since I left the village, but this place was different. Instead of a mixed congregation from all walks of life, I could only see soldiers and mercenaries filling the seats. There was only one woman and she was serving food. That's sexist! The state of the village had been even worse than we initially thought. Mm -hmm. As expected, this place is just like America. Hey! Wow, that was awful. Mm. Uh, I'm sure we can get some valuable information. I'm sure I'm sound really obnoxious right now, or this entire vid video, but anyway, I'm having fun, so that's what matters. Maybe even something on the enemy's tactics. I'm not so sure any of these guys will be very polite, though. Sit close to me, both of you. Yes. Yes, because we need a man to protect us, even though you have a fucking destruction mage over here yeah i tried to appear non plus but it looks like it looked like merrick wasn't convinced by my acting even Nero smirked at the tiny squeak i made well any sane girl my age would freak out in an establishment full of men and their stairs weren't helping to ease my nerves what do you think if you two are up to it we may be able to find some small jobs to do for pocket change mm -hmm. okay let's go investigate then and how about we go save the cake Well, well, we managed to learn a few things. That's... We already knew most of it, though. We end up wasting up too much time. We're in this together. It's all right. I found pancakes. I mean, maybe waffles. Waffles. Waffles are fine. Pancakes are evil. We've at least confirmed that the waffle demons will—I mean, the pancake demons—will be coming back uh, within the next day. We arrived just in time. Mm -hmm. True, the mayor must have known it too, after he smelled really bad and hired all these extra hands because he needed to take a bath. How sad. It's unfortunate, but this is the re harsh reality of war, that everyone needs to take a bath eventually. <laughs> war. War! Battle has led to nothing but pain and suffering. Also, it's made for really great Linkin Park songs. Why would the demons risk themselves for such a pointless struggle? Ugh, I guess there's like totally no use in pondering on their reasons. They're bloodthirsty barbarians after all. I have no doubt there's no logic to it. A lot of people would be hurt, so I like better heal them and stuff, you know? Well... Well, there isn't anything we can do here tonight. Let's go get some rest. Yes. Okay. The next morning. Ooh, this is a long <laughs> one. I need to get a drink of water. The pub owner is a truly fantastic cook. Mm -hmm. I agree. After eating that filet mignon and throwing it up last night, uh, and eating two days of nothing but rations, that was a welcoming change of pace. Right. The remaining townspeople need to keep their morale up, and good food leads to more efficient fighters. Mm. You actually have a point. You must have played a lot of Final Fantasy or something. You're really good at noticing things like that, aren't you? Well, actually, that's a more of a Tales of thing, because, you know, there's cooking in that game. Anyway, I'm off topic. I remember you even saved Mizari and, and I from being swindled by that crooked merchant when you were studied when you studied his body language. <gasps> Ugh. <laughs> Actually, I'm just homosexual uh, because I love men. That's what that means. Huh. Well, if you've been traveling as long as if you've been traveling as far as I have and as long as I have and as 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 I have, I uh, oof. You tend to pick up on these kind of things. Uh, um... And I like totally think that's like really cool. Oh my god, you're super hot. Oh my god, can you sign my breasts? Is it just me or is Nero suddenly showering Merrick with compliments? I don't need to study anything to conclude that she's acting all weird. Huh? What is it, Mizara? You've been staring at me for a while now. Uh, um... Oh, it's nothing. I just want to nibble your ears and make sweet love to you. What do you think? We still have time before we're supposed to meet with the mayor. Would you two like to take a look around town with me? Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's- Oh, I have a choice to make! 
Holy shit, I can't believe it. Uh, talk to the mother by the roads. Go straight to the mayor's house. Let's talk to the mother by the road. A mother seemed to be scolding her son. Their voices sounded agitated, so I decided to look into what was happening. I can't. Goodness, what am I going to do with you? So... Is there a problem, ma'am? <sighs> yes, this stupid child of mine. I don't want him anymore. No. I already said I was sorry, didn't I? Oh my goodness! That doesn't excuse you from all the ruckus you've caused, you piece of shit! I'm so sorry. I, I apologize for being noisy, but you seem really freaking mean. <laughs> but may I ask what happened? Anyway. Well, four nights ago, this child stuck out of town to play with his friends. What the... Hey, that's pretty dangerous, considering there's an army of demons outside! Uh, you really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> hey, no, but if I did it to my friends... <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, calm down, you fucking idiot. And you didn't even come home. You had us all worried for three days. I had the entire militia looking for you, but no one could find anything. Not even a footprint. Huh? Uh, what? Yeah. I told you before, I didn't I? I fell in a ditch and fainted. I can't remember what happened after that. Great. It was fortunate that you weren't hurt, because I was going to eat your dead body. Wait, what? No, I didn't get hurt, actually. See the cuts on my arms and legs? Yes. Yes, those are flesh wounds, but they've been treated already. If they weren't dealt with quickly, they could have become infected, you know. Wait a second. Something doesn't feel right about this. If nobody could find him for three days, how were his wounds treated, and how did he get home? Uh -huh. We were wondering that, too. None of the mercenaries or soldiers saw him, and no one claimed his rescue or treatment. Everyone knew I was about to start mourning his death, thinking that he had already fallen prey to the demons. I like to give thanks to his savior, at least, but whoever it was, as f as for how he got home. I really don't remember anything after I fell into the ditch. I just found myself lying near the path back to town, so I followed it back home. I didn't even feel, feel like three days had passed. I wasn't hungry or thirsty or anything. That's... That is quite odd. I mean, it's not like maybe a demon picked you up and took care of you. Ha 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 ha, not a joke at all. Aside from those who must be take up battle, no civilians are allowed near the Demon Kingdom's border. Um... I wonder who could have done it. I'm quite certain that he wasn't headed healed with magic, or it must have been someone who was skilled in first aid, or perhaps medicine. Right. It was probably just a traveler who was passing by. This is not suspicious at all. Don't listen to him. Yes. Oh, but you're right, big man, with an obvious plot. We are. We all jumped in surprise, and the mother broke down in tears. Her son quickly enveloped her in a tight I'm hug. Sorry. I'm sorry, mom. I won't leave you again like dad did because he's a deadbeat. I can't. I thought I lost you to the demons too because your father was drinking too much one night, and then he parted with some demons, and then he died suddenly because he is. exploded, and the demons were blamed for that. You know, so far the demons are the most likable people, and I haven't even met one of them. <laughs> These people just sound like a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whatever happens, no matter how much you spare, don't lose hope ever again! <sighs> it was an unsettling moment, because she just would not stop whining. But the truth was that I was facing a woman who'd faced life's hardships head-on and returned from the brink of despair too many times to count. Even though she... Okay, never mind. I must ask. What's your name, young lady? Hi. Me? It's Mizari. Hello. Mizari, it was nice meeting you. My name is Paula, and this is my son, Hugh. Please remember us. If there's any... If there's ever... Wait, wait, what the fuck? Don't these have Japanese names and they have English names? What the hell? Um... <sighs> Too many people have lost their lives on the battlefield. We won't give up. Just like you said, we will continue living until the day we can see peace once more. And when that day comes, please remember to come back and slap my son in the face for being a bad boy. Uh, uh I... Paula, that seems kind of extreme, don't you think? Okay, I'll promise to do that anyway. Anyway? Well, better go, Hugh. We were lucky this time, but there's no telling if that'll stick. I'd, I might hope I run across more strangers that will slap you across the face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ugh, my mother is not taking care of me. I wish I died mm -hmm. in that ditch. You better listen to your mother, Hugh. She's a crazy psychopath. Of course she knows what she's talking about. The mother and son began to wake their way down the road, and then they fell down a ditch. So, okay, that was... <sighs> that'd be really funny if that happened. How did you get roped into such a strange request again? Well... I, like, totally don't know. I didn't want Paula to think that taking her own life was the answer. Mm -hmm. This war has created wounds that run deeper than flesh! Meh! <laughs> 
You did what? <laughs> Merrick, what, what the hell is up with that voice? I don't know. <laughs> I guess what you did was good. Thank you so much. Please tell me this is recording. It is recording. <laughs> Thanks, you two. You, you big, you big doopities. Still, this is quite bizarre. A child who was missing for three days suddenly reappearing alive and well. There's something a little fishy about all this. Right. I think that's enough wandering around. Let's hit the mayor's house. Yeah, thanks for wasting our time, Nazara, you piece of shit. Mm. Greetings. Ugh, you know, water. The best kind of drink. Ugh. Allow me to wholeheartedly thank you for your cooperation. The mayor looked really worn out. The poor man must have had his hands full trying to protect this town and its people. So. As we have agreed, your payment is 10,000 gold coins, but because we have the government, you only get 30 of it. Thank you. Damn it, taxes suck! Thanks. No, we must thank you for accepting our request, even though we knew we'd screw you over. I believe we'd heard the rumors already, but a battle may break out at any moment. And as such, I suggest you begin your battle preparations at once. I've been training my whole life for this, and by training I mean I've been playing Final Fantasy Tactics on the Game Boy Color for the rest of my life. I mean Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance? Right, Game Boy Advance. After respectfully bowing to the mayor, the three of us headed back to Southside. Uh, the sun had just risen, but I stared at it too long, so my eyes started to uh, melt. Oh man, how many, t how many of these people will be hurt? How many of them will I be able to save? Will I be too late once again? What do you think? <sighs> Where to now? Let's get back to the inn. I want to make sweet love with myself because I am a handsome man. Yes. I agree that you're handsome. Yes, we should prepare ourselves and uh, cover our bodies in oils and the uneasy feeling in my chest, which I don't know. I don't know what's happening. The three of us went back to the inn. Yerui and I headed straight to our room while Merrick to his. As my friend rummaged through her belongings for spell books she could use, I just stood still lost in my own thoughts. As one would expect, Nuri no noticed the tense silence and gave me a concerned look. Huh? Mizari, is everything okay? <sighs> I I don't know. I don't mm. like battling. Are you frightened of demons, you big baby? Her face was tight and serious, and her lips moist and wet, and I wanted to lick her face. But I knew I w she wouldn't judge me, even if I wanted to do that. Whatever my answer would be, I bit my lips. <laughs> I bit my lip as she made a sexy, ugly stare at me. <laughs> and realized she was just making me worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's one thing Nerui really valued. It was honesty. I had to be honest with her as possible. Uh, uh, Bizarre, I don't really like fighting demons. But I'm scared that I might freeze up when I'm needed. Oh, wait. She is she is scared of fighting demons. Never mind. Okay, anyway. I've, I've lost the plot of this game. Missouri, you may be the most meddlesome and naive friend that I have, but I also know that you're compassionate and stubborn. You will never turn a blind eye to people who need help. You can be pretty wish-washy. You can also be a blonde-haired bitch, but you know what? I don't even care about that. You just act without thinking twice. And that's like hesitation without well, conviction or something. I don't know. I read it in a book. I trust you, Missouri. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Yes, 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 yes. I had doubts about my abilities ever since that man who was narrating this uh, visual novel made that weird noise just now. It was inevitable that I had my fair share of regrets and insecurities when I started it, when he started reading this visual novel too. Above all else, however, I trust my companions. Uh, I mean, above all else, however, my companions' trust was everything to me. If it was for them, I knew I had to be brave and fulfill my duty without hesitation. I won't let anyone else die. <laughs> a few hours passed since we had gotten prepared for the battle. As Merrick had suggested, we were patrolling around town, hoping that our presence might lift the few remaining citizens from their somber, frightened moods. But doing this only made me realize the gravity of the situation. I could feel the anxiety, hopelessness creeping back into my soul. I knew I needed to get a hold of myself, so I ate a taco, and that taco filled me with joy. And then my thoughts suddenly flashed back to visions of what the world could look like without tacos, and the cruelty of war. This is... Uh, that's... <sighs> it's the Bell of Awakening from Dark Souls 1! I love that video game! The, the battle is starting! Yes. 
Yes, let's fight! Okay, let's save the game before I die a horrible death. My daydream was drowned out by the sound of a loud ringing bell. My body moved of its own accord, passing through the town that could very become ruinous at any moment. Also, the bell gargoyles weren't here, so it seemed kind of weird. Despite my lack of sense of duty of faltering down, ba -ba -ba -ba, uh, with that in mind, I rushed into the middle of the ensuing battle. Ensuing battle, sorry. It had been hours since the battle started. As dust began to settle in the sky, I followed my group closely as possible while trying to best attend the wounded. One guy burnt his crotch off. I don't even know how to heal that, so I, I just let him die. I, I mean, it was the only thing I could do. Merrick, this spell will take some time to cast. Cover me, please. Thank God there's voice acting. I needed a break anyway. You can count on me. You can count on me. He like falls and trips on his face. Hmm. In complete sync with each other, I watched Nero blasted away a couple enemies with a powerful fire spell while Merrick protected her back. Between Nero's pure, powerful, 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 powerful magic and Merrick's flawless sword techniques, the enemies fell one by one. It was in that moment where my companion's victory was assured that I caught a glimpse of Lubinda. Nerui, Merrick, watch out! Ah. <laughs> The light from what I presumed to be a powerful spell seared my eyes, and I secretly ran away from the point of impact, hoping that Nuri and Merrick had also gotten away in time. Walking around blindly was a risk, but it was still safer than remaining in one spot. I was distancing myself from what could potentially be a fearsome mage, after all. I learned enough about magic to know that the flash was before it was a no ordinary simple spell. Ordinary simple spell. Could that have been the work of a demon? I had heard that there are powerful spellcasters within their kin, but... Oh. Oh. Dirt buried itself uh, into, the, into the scrape on my knees. Ew! That sounds painful, actually. <laughs> of course I had expected to be eventually... Of course I had expected to eventually trip from stumbling about, but it was quite it was extra embarrassing because I tripped on my own, my own other... I can't speak! Oh, thank goodness, my vision is returning. I tried to sit up, but an unknown force gripped my whole body and stopped me from moving. What? Uh, oh, Nani? What's happening? Why can't I move? No one's holding me down, and I have no... Uh, could it be magic? Dun, 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 dun. Harry Potter. Oh, shit, it's really Harry Potter. Oh, dude, I want to bang this guy. I mean, not like in real life, but like I want to see these two characters. Holy shit. As I contemplated my predicament, I was lifted in the air by a handsome man. The last bit of my sight finally returned to me, yet I would have preferred to stay blind than realize the incomprehensible situation I found myself in. I was being carried in the frighteningly muscular arms of a horned man with a long black hair. A demon! I've been held by a demon! It's like one of my Japanese animes! Despite the soft expression on his face and the gentleness in which he carried me, I felt fear grip at my heart. What's he doing? Where is he carrying me to? What does he intend to do with me? Will I become a prisoner of war or a slave? Actually, we should just save the game first before we make a choice. Uh, Let's do nothing. Calm down, Mizura. You have to think this through. Struggling could put me in a more precarious position, not to mention that I don't know my captor's intentions. No, one false misstep could be the difference between life and death. For now, I have to keep quiet and pretend that I fainted. Then I should wait for a chance to escape. Was this is a letdown. I was completely expecting her to put up a fight. That feminine voice, is she honestly disappointed? She is wise enough to know that struggling would be pointless when she's already at the mercy of another's hand. That is simply the natural choice to make when one wishes to survive. Whoa! The demon who held me spoke honestly. As much as I resented and feared the situation, I found myself agreeing with his every word. Hmm. I also put my face in his handsome six-pack. That's true. Anyway, shouldn't I put her to sleep now? Her act is good and all, but we can't risk her fleeing the moment an opportunity arises. What? They found me out? I can't believe they've saw through my obvious ploy. I should have closed my eyes or something. 
I tried moving, but I was still frozen by the paralysis spell. As I thought uh, over my options once more, I found my conscious fading away. No, this isn't the right time to faint. I need to find Nehru and... I have to make sure they're safe. Oh, no. Meanwhile, on the other side of the forest... Misery! Misery, where are you? Oh, her name is Miz... Isn't it Mizari? Oh, I guess it's a pun for misery. That's funny. It's unlike her to suddenly disappear like that. The demons are retreating. We should split up to look for her. Okay, I'll look in this tree over here. I'll keep yelling at it until she appears. Yes. So he just stands in front of a tree and starts yelling at it. Hello, Missouri! Ah, Please. Are you there? Please stop yelling at the tree. <sighs> oh, gosh! Where am I? And why do I look so hot? <laughs> My memories the last few minutes were hazy and I found myself in a strange new place. Wait. Um. Uh, panic filled my mind. Uh, ooh, panic filled my mind the moment the memories started flooding back. The battle in the forest, getting separated from Nehru and Merrick due to that light, and then being captured by the enemy. But am I truly being held captive? I'm inside a spacious bedroom, not a dingy prison cell. I'm not even chained up or tied down. My dirty clothes have been changed, but there isn't a single bruise on my body. Um, what in the world is happening? What should I do? How about you look out the window first and see where you are? I mean, it's obvious you're in a castle, but... I decided to take stock of my surroundings, starting with the vista outside the window. But as I approached the glass, I knew it would be hopeless. It was all darkness as far as the eye could see. It was so unnatural. Even the darkest nights, one should be able to s see the silhouettes of nature from the moon's light. It was like this special darkness smothered even the tiniest lights, however. This game has really good writing. I, I'm sorry I'm like being a complete lunatic while reading this, but uh, it does actually have very good writing, and I'm finding myself very entertained. Although the first kind of like few, the first minutes of that game were kind of boring, um, in my opinion. I, I mean, it, it's just world building, right? But now it's becoming interesting. Hmm. Demons are cool. I shivered at what I saw, but I couldn't just peel my eyes away. The image of complete blackness was burned into my mind, screaming at me that I was lost in a place that I, that would likely become my grave. Horrified by the thought that I left the window and buried myself in the bed, as if hiding to, and crying would make everything go away. I have never felt this helpless before, and there have been a lot of times in my life, but I've always had the support of my family and friends. In this weird place, though, I have no one. Nehru, Merrick, I hope they're dead! Were they looking for me? I mean, like, totally, were they separated or something? They could have at least tried to, like, not get into, thrown into an obvious trap and, like, totally save me or something. Oh my god, Nehru, I'm gonna slap that bitch when I see him. And Merrick, I'm gonna kick him on the fucking balls. Somehow, some way, I had to get out of this predicament. The demons hadn't showed themselves yet, but I need to be ready for the demands. The thought of demons potentially... The thought of the demon's potential in intentions left me with a sickening feeling in my stomach, but I hardened my resolve. I swear that I'll get out of this damned place even if it's the last thing I do. I just have a couple more minutes musing in my dire situation before I had a knock on someone knock on the door. Holy shit, I want to make out with you! It opened as soon as uh, revealing a demon woman with a vibrant purple locks and hazel eyes. She looked quite unlike the demons from my imagination. She wore a gentle smile as she approached me. Hello. Hello, dear. My name is Mimi, and I'm a loyal servant of the Demon King. I hope you're, you've had a comfortable stay so far. I was taken aback by the woman's kindness, but I knew better than to take pleasant trees as a guarantee that everything would be okay. What? What, what do you want from me? I apologize. You are acting quite irrational, by the way. I'm afraid that it's not my place to explain anything, but if you kindly follow me, I will take you straight to the right person. That's That woman is evil! Because she's so nice! The demon named Mimi started to walk, so I hastily followed her. I couldn't trust her, but it was better not to look for answers than stay trapped in my comfortable prison. <laughs> I just want to sleep all day. Mimi led me down the long hallway, which was unbelievably empty for a castle. I noticed a few servants along the way, but aside from some curious glances, they didn't seem threatened by me. Not like I was by them. Soon enough, we had arrived at a huge open room. If not for the dim lighting and bleak atmosphere, it surely would have looked gorgeous. 
A large throne sat in the middle of the floor and a demon wearing a fanciful garb was sitting upon it. To his right, another male demon stood guard watching me with an intense gaze. The demon's cold purple eyes were like ice, but I could feel his burning rage hidden beneath his glare. I shivered as I approached the throne, wondering what I could have done to, ire the, to earn the ire of this particular person. The man sitting on the throne was different from the other two demons. I thought I recognized him as the one who picked me up in the forest, the one who immobilized me with that paralysis spell. He had a serious, neutral expression as he studied me, although it wasn't full of malevolence. His steady gaze was mysterious and somehow more frightening than anything I'd ever witnessed before. His eyes seemed uh, guarded and calculating. It was the expression of someone who had a mission and who would do anything to ensure his goals would be accomplished. Your Majesty, I have returned with a guest. Guest? Not prisoner, but they brought me here with my against my will. I really can't say that I, I have a choice in this matter. That was no invitation. Wait, did Mimi just call him Your Majesty? My kidnapper is the Demon King himself? What? Welcome to the Demon Kingdom. Please forgive us for our initially unpleasant reception. We had little choice in the matter, however. Regardless, I do hope that you will eventually find it in your heart to forgive us. You like totally grab my boob while you were like, uh, you know, grabbing me or whatever. My entire, my entire body froze on spot. I couldn't understand the words that he was saying no matter how clearly I heard them. All I can think about were the rumors of the bloody barbaric demon king and his harem of humans and elven slaves. Uh, also, my voice keeps changing. Oh, feeling unwell, my lady. Now that I think about it, I haven't yet had the pleasure of learning your name. What should we call you? My name? He wants my name? Is this part of some kind of demonic contract while before us? Your silence is affronting the demon king, human. Speak your name, or do humans know nothing of etiquette? Kidnapping women is what you people call etiquette, is it? In my anger, I spouted the first thing that came to mind. Mizari, you idiot! Why are you picking a fight with a demon? That scary guy looks so angry now. What have I done? What did you say? I am a you big buckerel! I stepped backwards at the threatening tone. All of a sudden, I jumped when I heard a bout of laughter escape from Mimi. I wasn't the only one who was surprised, though. The frightening man looked shocked at the woman's behavior, even though the demon king... Oh, ho, ho, this always happens! <laughs> what are you laughing about? Didn't you hear her insult our race? I'm sorry, Anya, but this is... How do the humans put it? A dab of your own medicine? I like, I like these characters. A taste of your own medicine, actually. <laughs> I'm like totally gonna correct you on that. Ah, right. That's it. <laughs> I like Mimi's voice actor a lot. Mimi's laughter still hadn't stopped, although the sound eased my anxiety like a warm blanket. I was still faced with the danger of having my freedom stolen away. The Demon King's gaze had once left me, hadn't once left me uh, since I entered the room. I felt like I was being stalked by a hungry predator who was just waiting for that split second opening in my guard. Panic befell my mind, and I found myself chained word after word without an ounce of logic. I, I don't know what you want with me. I'm certainly not concubine material. I can't do basic household chores, and people have said that I'm just terrible. <laughs> This is actually really funny. I like this. This part is so great. Why couldn't the game just start here? Jesus Christ. Why would all that build up? <laughs> I also don't have experience with, um, pleasing men. I'd definitely be clumsy and that would be dangerous. I might hurt you or... i rip your dick off! Take deep breaths, dear. Deep breaths. We do not do sexual pleasure here. We all masturbate. I, I can't be your sex slave. <laughs> This is so well written. I like that. The science was such that you could undoubtedly hear a needle drop. The moment later, the Mimi giggles rang even louder than before, and the Demon King couldn't help but join in with a light chuckle of his own. The scary man from before, however, did not approve of the situation. <laughs> How defective must your brain be to come up with such an absurd idea? Do you really believe the Demon King would wish to create a progeny from a disgusting human such as yourself. I, I hope the volume is okay. Um, I think it should be fine. I did pump it up a little bit. But I... So the rumors aren't true then? Use your head, fool. 
Are half demons common in your country? Well, not as far as I know. Besides, do you really think our king is so deprived of company that he must kidnap random women off a of battlefield? He has sex with Mimi five times a day. Now that you mention it, fear gave off gave way to embarrassment. I couldn't look at any of them in the eyes of the emotions I expected to feel today. Shame was not among them. These off color preconceptions about our race are so very amusing. If we weren't at war, I would have loved to visit a human elf settlement just to see what its citizens would gossip about. Perhaps there will be an opportunity for that in the future. For now, we should focus on reassuring our guest that we mean her no harm, and that we won't be forcing her to do anything against her will, um, sexually or otherwise. <laughs> Not yet, Kingy. <laughs> But I just like coughed at my own. <laughs> I, I meant to say not yet, King, but then it came off like really weird. Anyway, it's true that I've gotten some answers, but I feel I, that joke failed. Okay, you don't need to yell at me, all right? Uh, even though I'm not really talking to anyone but myself, um, I'm, I'm very lonely. Anyway, but I still feel some apprehensive. If the demons aren't after my flesh or blood, then what sort of reason do they have to kidnap You're me? Concerned, my lady. I assure you that no harm will befall you while you are in our care. I am afraid we cannot spare you any freedoms until you agree to help us. Help you how? Your Majesty, if I may speak, I still think this is a ridiculous notion. You have spoken your thoughts already, Anya, and you've heard my response to them. We will not be reopening the argument. The demon in Anya looked like he had just been slapped. <laughs> still, he seemed an immense respect for the demon king and vice versa. I couldn't help but be curious what his role was. The king caught me looking quizzically at Anya, it felt like he could read my thoughts from my expression. Allow me to introduce Anya. He serves as my royal advisor and is well versed in economics, politics, and many other subjects. Okay. I nodded in Anya's direction, but he merely gave me a patronizing glare and scoffed. And I believe you've already met the finest general in our entire army, Mio. This girl, this freaking maid girl's a general? <laughs> I looked at the woman with a blatant incredulity. How could she, a dainty looking lady, be the finest general in their army? She didn't even blink beneath my stare, however. She simply gave me a, a grateful curtsy, although I cannot... I caught an amused glint in her smile. The pleasantry's over. Allow me to cut to the chase. My eyes returned to the regal man standing in the center of the room. Our people are in distress. Our numbers grow thinner by the moment, due to illness and injuries sustained in battle. Unfortunately, our medicine is in short supply. Even if it weren't, it is simply not effective enough. It would be a simple matter if we could use healing magic. However, as you may already know, demons are not attuned to the sacred art. Oh. It's been ages since the last demon was able to call upon This them. makes so much sense. I already knew where this conversation was going, and sensing that, I, the king paused. Between the silence and the man's gaze, I was covered up in goosebumps. It felt like I had no choice but to speak up and continue his train of thought. So you want me to use my magic to heal your people? Yes. And you will be fairly compensated for your work, of course. Simply name your price, and we shall deliver. Oh, interesting. But how do you know I won't just poison your people? You do know that healing magic can be reversed and turned deadly, don't you? We are well aware of that and have decided to take the risks nonetheless. Furthermore, I don't believe you have the correct disposition to do any backstabbing. Do you, dear? Was I that easy to read, I wondered? My master had said he the same thing too, that I don't have the conviction to use my talents for anything sinister. Beyond I'm a goody two shoes. Sure kind young lady such as yourself would not dare dabble in the dark side of magic. I blushed slightly at the compliment, although it was more because I trust because of the trust these demons were willing to put in a human stranger than anything. Did they know that humans and elves would grow enraged at the mention of their race, didn't they? The only one who was showing any anim animosity towards me was Andre, who looked like he was mustering every ounce of his will to keep his mouth closed. Whatever he wanted to say, I'm sure it was something quite uh, something unpleasant. Would you please consider our request, miss? As I promised, you will be protected from harm all throughout your stay. We will have the finest guards escort you wherever you go. Of course, the reward for helping our people still stands. I need to be very careful about what I say from now on. Even though I'm being treated like an important guest, it's only because I have something they need. If it wasn't, if that wasn't the case, who knows how they'd be acting? So I really don't have a choice. Your Highness, with all due respect, I need to assess the situation before I can come to a decision. I am only human, so I do have limits. I would like to at least take a look at the sick and injured, 
find out whether or not this is something I can handle. As you wish. I would not have it any other way. You have my gratitude, Miss... Oh, it's Misery, Your Majesty. Then we welcome you and your aid, Misery. On behalf of my people, I will ensure that your stay is a comfortable one. <laughs> That's really funny. In the meantime, may I invite you to join us for dinner tonight? We have pancakes! Oh, no. Your Highness, I couldn't possibly impose myself upon... Humble, is it? Aren't you merely afraid that we scary demons will poison your food? <laughs> I like how this guy's like eyes like just like get so serious. Roasted human flanks with a side of elven ear soup. I try to mask my fear as I, I returned on just glare with ferocity, but he was frightening, yes, but I never wanted to be bullied without taking a stand. I was just thinking that the king didn't need to waste his time on me. Sure. Do you honestly believe you have the right to refuse his highness's request? He is my boyfriend, how dare you treat him like that? <laughs> I am totally gay for him. I bit the back of my uh, retorts at the Demon King's commanding voice cut through our exchange. Enough, Anya. I do not wish to see you disrespect our guest any further. Have I made myself clear? My sincerest apologies, my lord. It will not happen again. Just please promise to make love to me tonight. Anya cer <laughs> certainly didn't seem apologetic towards me, though. Misery, I assure you that we don't poison our guests, regardless of the race. And if you think about it logically, we need you to help us, so killing you anytime soon would be rather counterproductive. By the way, like, I'm, uh, my commentary is a little quiet now because I'm, like, really invested now. <laughs> I didn't think like this would be like like I thought it would just be kind of silly, but now I'm like I actually really like this. I really like these characters, the, the, the demon characters, Mio, a lot more. I would appreciate it if you would uh, tone down your statements. How should I put this? Employ some tact. <laughs> and actually, like the voice acting is really good. The like characters' expressions and stuff are really good. Um, writing's really good. Um, did I already say that? I, I mean, I think I did. Maybe look earlier i'm not sure but um it's just a really good visual novel i'm really interested in playing the rest of this i said do my best i know this is just the demo so is it me or does the king look very tired all of a sudden Where was i i asked dinner i fear that i'm merely repeating myself but would you please do us the honor of joining us for dinner misery the team king exhausted face practically had me screaming yes just to ease his burden uh maybe narrow is right maybe i'm too kind for my own good Yes, I'm definitely too kind for my own good. How in the world did I get myself in this incredibly awkward situation? Although it seems to be eating cuffly, I was having second thoughts at the prospect of dining with the demons. It wasn't uh, like I was afraid of being poisoned, clearly. They wouldn't get anything out of that, and the food looked delicious. Uh, but for some reason, I couldn't work up an appetite. I looked at my dinner companions and realized that even if I couldn't eat, I could make at least make the most of my time by asking them a few questions. Who should I talk to? Um... Well, we should talk to the king, right? If I want more information, there's no one better to turn than the demon king himself. So... If you don't mind, would you please tell me why the demons are so susceptible to illness that you need my help? As I was saying... In truth, it is something that isn't as simple as a defect that it is common to our race. It's a result of many unfortunate factors, particularly pertaining to our quality of life in this land. The sun's light and heat cannot reach us fully within this domain, leading us to consistently poor harvests. The, quality and qu the quantity and quality of our crops and water have been declining steadily, and I'm afraid, I am afraid that we don't have any alternative but to seek outside help. Is that why demons began waging war against us? I didn't feel the courage enough to, enough to ask for clarification, though. Mm -hmm. I see, it must be hard for the citizens to live here from day to day, then. Correct. Yes, that is an unfortunate truth. However, we have nowhere else to go either. I could I couldn't bring myself to say anything in response to that statement. I just awkwardly averted my eyes to the floor. My apologies. I apologize. Uh, I hadn't intended to sour the mood. Please do not fret. You have my word that despite our poor harvest, the quality of our dishes served tonight are excellent. Thank you so much. I see. Thank you, Your Highness. I still can't touch the food, though. I can't eat all this and goodwill knowing that other citizens are probably living on scraps or even worse. If my healing magic can really help these people, then I need to find out more about the whole situation, not because the demon king asked me to, but because it was the right and proper thing to do. Dinner continued without a hitch, but I was still reluctant to touch the food. I wasn't afraid that it had been tampered with, but I couldn't work up an appetite knowing the state of the demon kingdom. I wonder if 
I could donate my food to those who need it. <laughs> what a so? what a nice lady. Why aren't you eating? What? Who? A young demon was standing beside my chair, gazing at me with a sad expression. I hadn't even noticed him enter the room. <sighs> Izen, I thought I told you to stay inside the kitchen. No. But our guest isn't eating the dishes I prepared for her. I went to find out his, what is wrong before I eat her soul. What? You cooked all this by yourself? You're like five years old! How did that small body endure all the work it must have taken to cook for four stomachs? <laughs> Isen is a strong boy. He is the finest chef in the entire realm, in fact. My cooking cannot even compare to his. Hmm. That doesn't matter if the guest of honor doesn't like it, and it wasn't my first time serving a human, too. See, pouty, and it's kind of adorable. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for being so rude. I was, wasn't even considering the work it must have went through everything. I'll try a bite right now. <laughs> you <laughs> will? Great. His eyes lit up instantly. Yisen was too precious for words. I wanted to cuddle with this demon. I took a spoonful of soup in my mouth and welcomed the heavenly flavor. Wonderful. Wow, this tastes great. <laughs> it does. I poisoned it, you fool. <laughs> and then she dies. Game over. Yes, I never tasted something quite as delicious as this before. You're an amazing cook, Yisen. Thank you. Thank you, milady. Please, just call me <laughs> Misery. That is an awful name. <laughs> you can have second helpings if you want. Children are adorable. They're so kawaii, no matter what race they are. I didn't notice that, but I didn't notice it. But my grandiose fear was diminishing the more time I spent with the demons. Mimi was a bit difficult to read, but I sensed the demon king had hit a hidden agenda of some sort. But they both seemed kind and understanding. Anja was positively hostile, but he hadn't actually attacked me, so I counted that as a plus. And he said it was so full of uh, innocence that as he spoke about his cooking techniques that, and how he'd prepared the ingredients with incredible detail. Were the demons truly as evil as we all believe them to be? I was so caught up in uh, my conflicting thoughts that I didn't even notice that time had passed so quickly. Mm. I believe it's getting uh, quite late. Isen, please clear the table and uh, take care of the kitchen. Afterwards, uh, make sure you head straight to bed. No more strolling around before bedtime, young man. <sighs> uh, okay, your majesty. I'll go to sleep, you big baka. His highness sort of acts like Isen's father. I wonder if they're actually related. The king seems a bit too young to have a son Isen's age, though. As I was saying. Misery, I, al I also recommend that you retire to your bed as well. We will be escorting you into town tomorrow, and it would be beneficial for you to be well rested. Yes. Yes, your majesty. What say you? Mimi, will you be so kind to guide Misery to her room? Yes. At once, your highness. Now, dear, if you would please follow me. We're going to go take a bath together. <laughs> Yay! Hot tub scenes! I suddenly thanked the Demon King and Mimi for the help. The whole place was so huge that I would have gotten lost at the moment I stepped out the, the door alone. As I followed my guide out of the room, I could still feel Anja's heated gaze on my neck, even after sharing a meal together. It seemed that his opinion of me wouldn't change. All three of them will be accompanying into town tomorrow. I would have liked to investigate on my own, but I guess no matter how much they act like they trust me, I'm just still a prisoner to them. The thought of going into town and constantly being surrounded by demons gives me the creeps. If the average town person was anything like Anja, I suspect that I have no choice but to run away at the first chance I got. Although the Demon King had been telling me the truth, in, then the people of the country need my help. But these people were demons, bloodthirsty, cruel, malevolent creatures that the Velvet despise humans and elves. Can I even escape from a place like this where I'm surrounded by danger? I want to go home so badly, but... Neru, Merrick, what would you two if you were in my situation? You'd probably kill everyone, you crazy this is people. Not good. Uh, what are you, you alright, you big blah, blah, blah? Um, I need some more water. <laughs> take a drink of water every time I take a drink of water. Hmm. I was so engrossed in my plans that to run away that I hadn't even noticed that we had arrived. I hadn't even uh, had the chance to look for an escape route, even though I was hoping to flee first thing in the morning. Your thoughts? Is everything okay? You look really disappointed. Would you like to switch bedrooms? Shall I prepare something more comfortable for you? Thank you so much. Ah, no, this one is fine, Mimi. Thank you. Mm. If you're sure, it has Hello Kitty all over it. Ooh, I like Hello Kitty. Mimi looked unconvinced, but thankfully it sure didn't press the issue. My commentary is just getting worse. I'm just, like, too invested. I'm too invested in this game. How many... Oh, shit, I've been, like... Oh, I've been in that an hour. All right. Well, actually, I think, um... I think an hour is a good point to kind of cut this off, because um, I kind of feel like everyone kind of gets the point of this visual novel, and I don't want to, like, you know, this is just a demo, so it's probably going to end soon. So, you know. Anyway, I don't want to 
Also, my mouth is getting kind of <laughs> messed up, so I'm, I'm running out of steam to do commentary, so I better to end it while I'm still running, right? Even though I probably fell a few times throughout this marathon. Um, all right, so yeah, we will... Uh, the Kickstarter for this game, I'll leave that down below. I'll leave the Ichio page down below if you want to play the demo and finish it yourself and all that cool stuff. Maybe you make some different choices, get some different dialogue. Maybe you'll buy the game when it comes out. If they charge money for it, they probably will. I don't know. Um, yeah, I really like this game. This visual novel is really fun. I like it. I like the art style, the voice acting. Uh, Usually, like, the voice acting is pretty hit or miss for these indie projects, but the voice acting is pretty good. I like it a lot. The story is pretty interesting. I like the characters a lot. I like the, the premise a lot. I can kind of see where it's going, but um, that's okay. Um, I, what else is there? Uh, yeah, good writing. I think I've already said I just really like the writing. I think I've said that, like, 15 times throughout this entire thing. Anyway, we'll call that a video. Um, thank you so much for watching all that good stuff. Uh, be sure to check this game out and check out my other visual novel games or other content because I do very silly things on my YouTube channel because I don't have a life. All right, guys, uh, take care and uh, see you later.